This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Allison Margot Smith with me. You are a documentary filmmaker and where do you live? I'm in Ottawa. You're in Ottawa? Yeah. A lot of your documentaries you've done in the Rideau Lakes area, so that's what we're going to talk about today is some of your documentary films too. So what is your interest in, in the Rideau Lakes area if you, when you're living in Ottawa? Uh, well, so we have a cottage. My husband and I have a cottage in the township of Rideau Lakes, and we're pretty involved in the community. So um, it feels like a sort of a second home. Oh. And so, yeah. I'm and, and absolutely, you're a member of the Rideau Lakes Township's Municipal Heritage Advisory Committee, and you're also a director on the board of uh, Heritage in Ottawa as well, too. Yeah. So you've how many documentary films have you made? I think I'm working on my 11th right now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. A lot of it's the history too. You must be uh, really interested in the history. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and, and I, I, I watched the one on uh, Clifford Pennock yesterday. I'm a photographer as well too, called Yours Truly. And my goodness, I learned so much about photography from that. Yeah. 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 Now, where did you learn about him to want to do that documentary? Uh, well, um, Clifford Pennock himself I learned about from members of the Municipal Heritage Advisory Committee. Um, some of those members had been uh, working on, uh, particularly Di uh, Diane Haskins had been working on this uh, subject, uh, the subject of Clifford Pennock, and uh, had put together some historical research about him. And she was keen that I should make this film. And the township was keen that I should make this film. So Wow, God. it was very interesting, very interesting. Now, I, I've got to say, when you are doing your documentaries, you are the researcher. I wrote all this down because it takes a lot <laughs> to put one of these together. And you are all, all in one uh, encompassed. Uh, researcher, the script writer, the videographer, the narrator, and the editor. editor. You do it all. Yeah, yes, I do. I. Uh, so this started with, uh, so my, my original career was uh, in information systems and I, was, I have a degree in computer science. Okay. So I have this technology background uh, and as a management consultant. Um, but when I uh, retired at age 50, I decided I was done with all of that and that I wanted to um, go back to school to study history. And so I, I um, registered and I did an undergraduate degree at Carleton in um, history and then a master's in public history. Wow. And one of the courses that Carleton offers is how to make a historical documentary film. It's a fourth year course and that was my first film and it was a, a team effort with two other uh, young women and uh, we made a film uh, for that course. and. Uh, that was when I learned sort of how to do it. And so since, since then, I, you know, it's just easiest for me if I can work on a film that's where I just sort of start at the beginning of the process and do the research and you know, craft the script and then all the way through the process to make the eventual film. And, and like when I was writing down that you, you are the all, all in one when you put together one of your documentaries, and that's where I w th piqued the interest of, where do you get the interest to do a documentary if you do this all on your own? Uh, well, um, I guess I would say through the work that I did as a, uh, in my um, university degrees, I realized that, you know, there's so many interesting things about history that, uh, that it would be great if people sort of could hear and know more about right. Canadian history, for example. And, but they don't necessarily want to pour through, you know, uh, uh, large books and, you know, it's, it could just be kind of, uh, it just wouldn't be something that they would do. So having a way to uh, bring history out to people and make it more available through websites or uh, films in particular and I, I, I just personally enjoy watching films and I feel like it it can bring the history really alive and uh, so that's that's kind of where my motivation came from and it's local people too in history like I, I didn't I didn't know who <coughs> Clifford Pennock was the Fetter Cairns <laughs> is, did I say that name right Fetter Cairns? Fetter Cairns. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know about them and that's all local like real local Rideau Lakes. Yeah. 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 And can you tell the story about the Fetter Cairns because I, I really like that documentary. Okay so yeah so Fetter Cairn uh, was the name of the cottage and the island 
where uh, Agnes Etherington, so Agnes Etherington's a little bit of slightly better known name. She, uh, her, she and her family were from Kingston. If you are on the Queens campus in Kingston, you will find that there's the Agnes Etherington Art Center. And she and her family were wealthy people and they had a big house there which became the art gallery at Queens and they had this cottage on Indian Lake near Chafee's Lock. And so she, uh, her brother went off to fight in the First World War and ultimately he was killed, he died. And she wanted to do something to contribute to the war effort and Canada had a program at that point where they, where they needed to have more hospital spaces for returning soldiers from the war. And they asked people to, in the, like in Can Canadians, to step forward with their spaces, with their homes, and people did. There were homes in, um, in, there was an American woman who donated her cottage down in the Thousand Islands. There was uh, a, one in Sandy Hill um, in Ottawa. And wow. there was Agnes Etherington's cottage on Indian Lake on an island in near Chafee's Lock. And she volunteered her house, and it became a small hospital. It, 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 a small house. It was a, it was a big house, but a small hospital, maybe. That's it. But yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. An amazing story, an amazing story, too. It really so, was. And uh, so close to home. It's local, you know. And uh, Where do people find your, your films, your documentary films? Uh, so they are um, on the Township of Rideau Lakes website. So Township of Rideau Lakes has been um, the sponsor of all of my f uh, the films that I've done in recent times. So five plus another one that I'm working on right now. Can I ask? What are you working on? Uh, yeah, sure. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, so all of these films are sort of based on a particular place in the township. Um, and this, this, this one that I'm working on right now is going to be based around Portland okay. uh, on Big Rideau Lake. And it's going to be about the hotels and the tourism, mm -hmm. the histor histor historic tourism in Portland and that area around the lake, the cottaging and so on. Um, but the film is also has a backdrop to the emergence of uh, the concept of the vacation and of uh, taking a weekend, like having a two-day weekend mm -hmm. or even having a, a one-day weekend, but having a two-day weekend, being able to come from a larger community, like coming from Ottawa or coming from Smith Falls or coming from um, Perth, uh, people were able to have a little bit of, you know, downtime and they wanted leisure uh, activities and they wanted to go fishing and all kinds of things. They Wonderful. wanted to go boating and, and that was all kind of emerging through the sort of the latter part of the 19th century. So that's what that's, that's about. That's what you're working on now mm -hmm. too. And I interrupted you, I'm sorry. Where, where do you get, to, where do, can we look at your documentary films? <laughs> oh uh, yeah. So uh, Township of Rideau Lakes is, uh, they have on their website, there's a section of the website which is uh, documentary films and all, they're all there. Uh, and also, what we're doing is, uh, for example, the township has a picnic guide. And in the picnic guide, it talks about all the different towns and it has the, a link to the films in the picnic guide. And there's, if you drive around the township, there's some QR codes that oh. are uh, posted. So people c driving around, I think they're gonna be added these QR codes to a, a driving tour so that you can actually drive around the township and oh. you could do a kind of a tour that includes all of the films that you could watch on your phone if you've got enough data to. That's right. I try and keep the films sort of uh, not too long, and I render them in a way that's not too heavy in terms of the data. They could be f higher resolution, but I want them to be able to be accessed by people potentially on their phone. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be downloading too much data. So, oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. I, and recently, too, you, you have received the Ontario Historical Society uh, President's Award for 2022-2023 too. And this was for exemplary contributions and the preservation and dissemination of Ontario's rich history uh, for producing 10 documentaries. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Now when did that happen? Um, I found out in 
I guess around the end of November this past year. So it's new yeah. too, yeah. fairly new yeah. too. Well, congratulations yeah. with that too. So um, I'm just trying. Did you did you win another award or get another recognition? Uh, no, no. I don't know. You know what? I'm just I'm still reading about your first award here. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I made lots yeah. of notes on you yesterday. So. Yeah, well, congratulations on that. That's huge. That's great. Thank you. That's Thank great, you. too. And you're part of the uh, Rideau Lakes Township Municipal um, Heritage Advisory Committee, and that's how I got to know you through Marie White. Yes. 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 The, the, the township has been fantastic in supporting me on this. Uh, on this. It's been a really, uh, really great uh, sort of partnership there. And uh, I know they're interested in, in telling the stories, and, and I'm interested in telling them too. So oh, wonderful. it's really worked out. I well. haven't seen Marie in a long time, and when I caught up with her, she goes, I got somebody you got to talk to. And that was <laughs> oh, you. Good. So I'm glad she set this up. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for coming here today, too. You came all the way from Ottawa, too. Allison Margot Smith, a documentary filmmaker. Uh, a lot of your documentaries are all on our area here, and it's just all our history and our, our rich history here and, mm -hmm. and people, too. So and it's just amazing. I was. I can't wait to watch the rest of them. <laughs> oh, good. I hope you do. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You're welcome.